Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Mode Network and their upcoming potentially huge airdrop campaign. I'm going to be telling you a bit about what Mode Network is and then showing you step-by-step -step guide on how to participate in the airdrop to maximize your potential gains. So first off, Modular DeFi L2. Mode is the Ethereum L2 that rewards you for growing the network via economic mechanisms powered by optimism. And as you can see here, they were awarded a $6 million OP grant, which that in itself is really huge and almost unheard of, I think. So you can see here, they received up to 2 million optimism tokens, which are valued at almost $6 million to build. So that is really amazing already if we scroll through their site i'll skip this because i'm going to be going through that a little bit later but you can see they're going to have 10x lower fees than ethereum and it's powered and supported by optimism as i said it's built on the modular op stack and is a member of the super chain alongside base and op mainnet and we can see here their ecosystem uh, some partners and projects on mode that i'll be covering later which will help you increase your airdrop so now let's have a look a bit more into detail about their actual airdrop, how it's going to work and how they're going to calculate the token rewards and so on. So you can see here, you can earn a share of 550 million mode tokens, which will be claimable in April 2024. And then you can also, in addition, earn sequencer fees for any user you refer and rewards from mode ecosystem apps. So as you can see, they say they're not like other points campaigns that have confusing terms and always changing rules with weird mechanics and so on. But if you contribute meaningfully to the ecosystem growth, you will be rewarded. So the most important things to consider is the past on-chain activity, bridging TVL, referring friends, using ecosystem dApps, like the ones I showed you uh, now, now, and completing quests. So these are all things that you're going to have to consider to maximize your gains. So here's how to start earning points on a mode. You can see here that 5.5% of the total supply allocated to this campaign, of which 400 million tokens are allocated to the points airdrop, 50 million more are unlocked at 100 million TVL and 50 million more at 200 TVL and 50 million is for the 500 NFT lottery winners among the top 20% campaign participants. So it's, uh, it pays to be in the top 20%. And I think you can easily get there if you just grind a bit more than the others. So in terms of the airdrop rewards, you'll also be rewarded for your past on-chain activities. So that's why it's definitely worthwhile to check out because even if you've not done any of their current tasks, if you interacted with certain dApps, as you can see here, users of certain DeFi apps, holders of certain NFTs, users of different L2s, users of OG DeFi apps like Maker, Curve and Yearn, DGENs, and people that use apps that give users yield. All things like that will contribute to your points. So it's worth connecting your wallet and seeing how many points you have already. Then the main other ways to get points will be bridging assets to mode. As you can see, a bridging Ethereum, USDT, USDC to mode earns you points relative to the time these assets remain on mode. And TVL is checked and points are distributed hourly. Then invite friends to mode. Obviously, that's uh, the referral program where if you invite them, you actually earn 16% of the points they collect. So if they make 100,000, you'll get 16,000 of that. Then using their ecosystem apps where you can get higher points for using those partner apps, which I'll be showing you. And then they're going to also have quests coming up. So those are the main ways to um, get maximum points for the airdrop. So let's have a look at the airdrop page where you can see app.mode.network forward slash early. So you can see here the first step is get your referral code and invite some friends. That will be the main way probably to make the most from this. Then you'll want to interact with their ecosystem and you can earn up to 2x points. And at the moment they have Kim Exchange, Ionic and Mode NS, which is their ENS. So let's start off with their ENS. So we go to space ID here. You can search for any domain name that you want to register. So for example, I searched dump and that was available. So here you can choose how many years, just leave that at one. Don't tick set as primary name, otherwise it ties it to your account. Then you just click register, as you can see 0 0.02 Ethereum. Obviously, depending on what you register, it'll differ. So I'm going to confirm that transaction and you can see my TX is pending. And then I will have registered this domain name and that will help contribute to uh, the airdrop campaign. Also then what I'd recommend is actually to mint more than one. So I'm just going to mint two actually just to be safe. So here you can search 
some other domain name. So I'm just going to search some random ones, Uniswap, and then you can see it when it drops down here, if it's available or not. You can see this one unfortunately isn't. So let me just search something that's definitely not taken. Pro, pro, pro. So I'm going to search that. It's available. If I click here, you can see it's 0 0.002 Ethereum, which is just $5. Obviously, the more popular the name, the more expensive it will be. So I'm just going to register this one as well. So there we go. I've done two domain names, so I know for sure. Okay, with this part of the airdrop, I've contributed what I can, and it will hopefully allocate me the extra points. Next up, you want to go to app.ionic.money, which is this link over here, and connect your wallet. And then you'll want to deposit some wrapped Ethereum. So as you can see here, I can click on wrapped Ethereum. I'm just going to put 0 0.01 and then wrap that. It will pop up in your wallet. You just confirm that transaction and you wait for it to be processed. So once that is processed, you see it, you just click continue and there we go. You are done. And next up, you'll want to go to Kim Exchange, which is basically their DEX. So I actually bridged 0 0.1 one ethereum i think to mode network which actually you should do first which i'll show you shortly so here you just want to do a swap so i'm just going to swap some ethereum to usdt here so that will pop up in your wallet and you just confirm the transaction and you just do a couple swaps like this and show you interacting with their dApps and so on so once that is done then you can actually just swap back again so i'm just actually going to go and swap that usdt back to ethereum so that'll make you approve usct so you approve it in your wallet and then you swap it back to ethereum so that is what i'd recommend you to do and it is worthwhile doing a couple of these type of swaps you don't need to just do one or two you can keep using it i'm sure the higher the volume the uh, more chances to maximize your airdrop so i've approved it and then i'm going to proceed to swap so now that that's done, I'm going to be showing you about bridging. So that's also a really important point. Obviously, you have to start off with bridging to mode in order to use these. So that's why I should have actually showed you that first, but now you know. So you just go over here where it says bridge at to earn points. You click on the bridge here and you connect to your MetaMask, obviously on Ethereum network, if you're bridging from Ethereum to mode, then you can also bridge back which is really nice. Unlike Blast, you can't bridge back until when mainnet is live. But here you can bridge back, but it does take about seven days for the transaction to process. So keep that in mind. You will have to wait a significant amount of time. But if you do bridge back, then you stop accruing points. So it's important to keep it on mode. Obviously, don't put in what you can't afford to lose and so on. So here you just go to Ethereum to mode. And here you can put how much you want to bridge. You can see I've got two Ethereum available. You can just put one Ethereum. And obviously you have to switch your Ethereum and then bridge. So it's really quick and simple in terms of that bridge. And then you'll start accruing the rewards. So make sure to use these three dApps like I showed you. And then start referring your friends. So I'm going to share my referral link, of course, in the description if you guys want to sign up for that. I'd really appreciate that, of course. This will be my link. I'll post that in the description and the comments if you do want to sign up for this airdrop. I really think it's worthwhile doing. It's already picking up tons of volume and it is still quite early so you have a really good chance to get ahead of most people thank you very much for watching make sure to follow me on twitter and telegram to stay up to date with everything make sure to give mode a follow to stay up to date thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time